Hi everyone, my name's Bill and welcome to my channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. Now this video is about mixing in some elevator with your flaps. Now sometimes a model, when you uh, apply the flaps, the nose can pitch up. So you need to put in down elevator to level the aeroplane out. Now you can mix this in and I'm going to show you how to do this. So first, let's switch over to Companion, OpenTX Companion on the computer, and I'll show you how to do it, and then we'll switch over to the radio. So let's open up OpenTX. And my latest backup. Now, what I'm going to do is use the standard four-channel model that I set up. Now, the link to that video is in the description below if you want to go and look at that first. So I'm going to copy this model here. I'm going to duplicate the model. And now we're going to open that model up. And let's just center this. Right, I'm going to change the name. Now I've already set this up so I can copy and paste it. We're going to call it, call it Flaps Ele Mix. This is just for reference for me. Now all we need to do is go into the mixes and we are going to have to add in three lines to the elevator. So let's right click and say add. And we are going to go on this one. The source is going to be max. So we're going to scroll down. There it is, max. Now in here, the weight has to be zero. So this will be when the uh, elevators are, are operating normally. So zero. And then this is going to be switch. In my case, I'm using switch SE. So SE in the forward position, because the forward position is what I call the default position. Okay. Now, once we've done that, now all we need to do is right click and duplicate that line. Now, first thing we're going to now double click it. We are going to put in, I'm going to put 20% for the first flap position because this model has two flap settings. So in the first one, I'm going to put 20% and then we've already on max, so that's correct. And the switch position now needs to be SE in the middle or whichever switch you want to use. So, but it would be in the middle. Now we're going to put slow in um, and slow up so that the, the adjustment doesn't happen rapidly. It's, it's, it's sort of controlled. So in here, I'm going to put two seconds for the up and down two seconds. Okay, we're good there. Now you can adjust these settings accordingly. And what I suggest you do is you test this. You go out and fly your plane, take it up very high, and then actuate the flaps and see what happens so that you can make adjustments. Don't try and attempt to land uh, without pre-testing pre the, um, the flaps and the elevator mixing. Okay, back to here. Now we need to replicate this line. We are going to duplicate it this time. We're going to make the weight 40. Now, these could be minuses or plus. It depends on how the uh, servos are installed in your plane. But for my model uh, and for my test rig, it's, it's 40. So now we are going to go to the switch. We're going to pull that switch into the back position now. And the delay is already there. So we should be good to go. Now let's test this. We're going to go to the simulator. Um, we're going to push the model button and then we're going to bring up our our screen of our channels. So let me just reset the flaps. flaps. Okay, now you can see our elevator is channel two is working working correctly. My channel mapping is AERT, so that's working correctly. You can see. Now if we go to SE, so we, at the moment we have no flap. Flaps have. You can see the flaps actuating and the elevator as well. Flaps. There we go. We've got full flaps and we've got uh, 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 the elevator as adjusted too. As I said, we would just, you would adjust these according to your model aeroplane. Now let's um, switch over to the radio and we'll take a look at the settings in there. And then we'll go on to the test rig. Okie dokie, we're going to go to model and we're going to page across until we get to mixes. And on the elevator, I'm going to scroll down to the elevator, push the enter button and then say copy. And this we can move down. And now we are going to edit 
the line and we're going to change the source to max so we just hold the button down and here we need this to be zero no weight so daisy too far okay then we need this to be our switch now all we need to do is click the enter button and move our switch into the position which which will be forward so the flaps are up then we're going to sure we're not going to put we don't need to put a slow up and down in here so we're going to return and then now we can duplicate that line copy or insert after there we go we're going to change the source again to max and then we're going to put the weight in here as 20. there we go and we are going to put the switch in the middle position now you you can choose any switch you want to and then we're going to go to the speed two seconds might be too much but for demonstration purposes that's what i'm using okay and we should be good there now we're going to duplicate that line and copy and then pull it down and then all we need to do is go back into that line and edit it changes to whatever value we want in my case i'm going to use 40 and we just have to change the switch position now by tapping the enter key and there we go we should be good to go we can hold the model key down there we go so we have our elevator working perfectly we can now do the first position flaps you can see the flaps are being deployed and we're getting a slight bit of uh, down elevator then we go to the full position We've got more elevator and we've got more flap. So there we go. That's how we set it up. It's quite, uh, quite easy to do. Now let me demonstrate this on my rig. Now what I've done, there, those are obviously the flaps and this is gonna be for demonstration purposes, that's my elevator, just to demonstrate this is working. So we've got full elevator control. Now flaps. Now you can see both the flaps went down and so did the aileron. So full flaps and the uh, elevator went down as well. Now we can go back up. Flaps half, flaps up. And even when the uh, full flaps mix is on, we do still do have elevator control. And there we go. Now, just remember, there are many different ways to do the same thing in OpenTX. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.